O oh, Messenger of Allah, why don't you intervene? A Turkish Muslim standing in the premises of the Nabi Sharif Mosque and seeing it with his own eyes narrated the incident. I was standing there watching four policemen waiting for someone. Then a person appeared. The policeman ran and caught him and held his hands. The young man said, Allow me to pray please. Listen to me. I am not a beggar, nor a thief. Then the young man began to shout. When I saw him, I felt as if I knew him. Let me tell you how I recognized him. In fact, how many times I saw him crying in the Prophet's house. He was an Albanian youth. His age was between 35 or 36 years. He had golden hair and a light beard. I told the policeman, Why are you doing this to him when he has no crime? After all, what is the blame on him? He said to me, Hey Turk, you have no right to speak in this matter. But I said again, After all, what is the problem with you? Has he stolen anything? They said, No, the person has been living here in Medina Shari for six years, but his stay is illegal, we want to capture him and send him back to his country, but he eludes us every time and went to the tomb of the Prophet, peace be upon him. I take shelter, and we didn't want to go in and arrest him. I asked, So what will you do with it now? They said, We will catch him and put him on the ship and send him back to Albania. The young man was crying continuously, and was saying, What if you leave me? Look, I am not a thief. I am not begging anyone. I am just living here in the love of the messenger. The police said. No, it is not permissible. The young man said. Well, let me ask the messenger of Allah, peace and blessings be upon him. Then the young man turned his face towards the green dome. The police said. Say what you have to say. So the young man looked at the green dome and what he said in Arabic, I understood. That young man was saying, Or the messenger of God, Was there not an agreement between us? Did I not leave my parents? Didn't I not close my shop and leave my house? And I did not come here with a promise that you will release me in the tide of mercy? Prophet! Now look! They are forbidding me to do so. Or the messenger of Allah, peace be upon him. Why don't you intervene? O oh, messenger of God, why don't you intervene? Meanwhile, the young man became restless. So the policeman loosened a bit and the young man fell down. A policeman slapped him and said, O oh, deceiver arise. But the young man did not show any rejection. I told the policeman, Yeah, will not run, you bring water from the baths and put it on his face. But the young man was not moving. A policeman said, Look at him in case he died. The second policeman said, What blow have we inflicted on him, by which he wells die? Then they called the ambulance. They brought an ambulance over there from gate number 7 in front. Paramedic placed his hand on the young man's aorta and noted the movement and checked the pulse and said, it's been 15 minutes since he died. Now the policeman panicked and felt guilty. One of them sat down and cried. He was also a sight to behold. One of them used his hands to beat on both knees and said, Hey, why didn't our hands break? I wish we knew that. He had such intense love for Prophet Muhammad. Hey, why didn't our hands break? After that, the ambulance people picked him up from there and took him to Jannat al-Baqi in the funeral and funeral section. He was there even during the bath. I said to them, let me touch him too, let me lift his cot too. When the funeral got ready and started going for prayer, the policeman said to me, the amount of sin we have borne is enough. No one will raise it but us. Perhaps in the same way we will get some discount in the hereafter. 
All I remembered was that young man in front of me was repeatedly saying that. O oh, Messenger of Allah, why are you not intervening? The Messenger of Allah intervened, and Malik Alamut fulfilled his duty and delivered it to him forever.